So I will demonstrate for you how to change a 250 watt high pressure sodium bulb. I'm up in the air. Here's our fixture. It's an old shoebox, I think is what they call them. It's got a nice little plate that we can use to mount all this shit on. And pretty sure it's just a ballast. That's why the light's not working. Check the fuses. One of them was bad. Uh, so yeah. Now I'm gonna put that in. Okay, so put it back up there. Um, slide your screws over the the bar here. I got to see if we tightened it too much. And it will slide right over our little bracket there. We'll tighten that down to the plate. bracket that they gave us and they gave us the hardware uh, these are some unreasonably long screws uh, you don't I don't even think we're gonna need fucking half of that but we can cut them off once we stick them in it's no big deal so uh, it's fucking hard to do with two hands okay one hand whatever this isn't fucking working Alright, you guys just gotta get the gist of this shit. Alright, uh, hold on. Okay, yeah, so they gave us these ridiculously long screws, and... Okay, I got it mounted to the bracket now. And I know you're like, oh no, the screws are too long, wah. It's no big deal. Just take your thing without dropping it fucking 30 feet. Like, bend it one way, the other way, one way, the other way. Back and forth. And then it breaks off and you're good. Same thing over here. Back and forth. So, and we'll just push that one back, straighten them out, tighten it with the 5 sixteenths. Let's see if it corrects. See this design? This plug is supposed to be a disconnect, and you're supposed to hook the hots up here. Okay, well, who's the fucking asshole that put the goddamn strip right here, where it, so it could, it like, come on. Yeah, that's that's great. Let's let's have these touch. Like this is so asinine. It's like offensive. Nice and tight. Don't overdo it because you can't break the plastic. Just enough to where they don't move. And we're not using that plug because it, it just causes problems. Uh, it'll make bulbs cycle. It'll come loose. And it's just one less connection. I mean, just wiring up the shit, you know, to your feet. Quick and easy. 
it's a lot simpler. Like this shit, I, I, I can cut this off and just wire nut it directly to the socket because it's just less joints. It'll work better. Uh, now, all I'm gonna do is tie these up so it looks fairly neat and presentable. And then I will put it in, but hold on, because again, I need two fucking hands. Okay, so I got it in the fixture now. Um, you know, the plate. Put it in here and then over here. This, you know, loosens and you can slide this in and out. I just can't do it with one fucking hand. I got my ballast all neat, tied up. I took this stupid ass plug out. I'm gonna take the receptacle out. It's, it's just an extra component that'll go bad. Uh, I'll cut this off. How about. And. Look at my helper. Thinks he's hot shit. Okay. Uh so this can go. This one hand shit's killing me, dude. That's why I don't make so many videos. Alright. So yeah, I'll just wire the socket directly to the Bleastus. We have common and red is for lamp, white or yellow, which is X2 of the igniter. And then I will hook up the other common and the 480 volt tap to the source. And always ground your shit, because if you don't, you're an asshole. Okay. Okay. So here's the finished product. Uh, Ballast tied up to the socket. Lamp common. 480 common. Ground. Um. That's it. Call it a day. Uh, check your fuses. If you got a bad ballast, most likely you got a bad fuse. Alright. Deuces.